Hello everyone and welcome back to another travel journal video. For today's video I'm going to start working on the front a bit because I now have my die set from Sizzix, Tim Holtz, the travel one and I'm going to spell out the words Croatia 2024 travel journal. I also um, going to use this bag and this bag um, I got when I bought some postcards so I'm going to open it up and I'm going to cut it to size at first I wanted to turn it into a pocket but I'm going to use it differently uh, but yeah I'm going to start out by cutting it to size to fit the page I'm not throwing out the rest because I might be able to use it later. This is the picture that I want to use on that uh, page and I'm still looking to see how I want everything uh, to be. So I decide not to make a pocket and just uh, cut off the word Dubrovnik and change it or bring it to the top and then put the logo or I think it's the city sigil. Is that the word? Sigil, I think it's the word, yeah. Uh, and put it downwards and then create a composition like that. So I'm still fiddling about and thinking about how I want to use it. I am going to cut it even smaller, just sort of like fuzzy cut it roughly. And then I'm going to use some mod parch and just sort of decoupage it on top of the page. I'm then going to take out my Mod Podge and glue it to the page. I'm going to take one quick look uh, to see where I want to put the picture so I know that I'm going to glue it on the right side because you cannot undo this. So yeah, you have to be really sure. I really like how it just blends in with the rest of the page. I'm then going to use my heat gun to dry it up a bit and then I'm going to continue working on the cluster around the picture. And these two tickets from the Olive Museum were inside that bag. They were free tickets. We didn't end up using them, so we didn't visit the museum, but I did want to use the tickets nonetheless because I thought they fit the page. I'm going to roughen up the pieces that I want to use and I also have a die cut label which I have distressed uh, which I'm also going to use. I wanted to use this one on the front of my journal at first but then I realized that the letters of those uh, of the tin lids were way bigger than I imagined they be so they didn't fit on the frame uh, hence that I'm using the frame elsewhere and I thought it looks really nice on this page. I'm 
I then have this piece of scrapbook paper on my desk and I thought it'd be nice to use it. I often leave my desk quite messy when there's lots of uh, scraps and stuff. I just put them on a pile and uh, when I'm crafting and I need something quickly, I always reach there to see if there's a, something that I can use. But normally, they do belong in a scrap bin. <laughs> Quite happy with how the picture cluster turned out. So I'm going to do some sewing and then glue it down. I also stamped the date, which was the 4th of April. And then I'm going to glue down the label in place as well. And then I'm going to do some stamping on top of the label. And I'm also going to look for some smaller labels. I'm choosing red ones to stay in the theme of red. I then typed out the words Carpaccio Bruschetta with my letterpress thing because that's what we had for lunch and it was really really good. I think the meat was local and then uh, it was a nice bruschetta with some, um, how do you call that lettuce, it's a special, um, rucola? I don't know how you pronounce it in English. Yeah, I think it's just sort of the same. <laughs> anyway, it was a really nice uh, lunch. And then I'm going to use this Tim Holtz strip and I'm going to cut it to size and ink the edges a bit, distress it. And that's because I didn't really like the, the words you see on the top of the page. So I wanted to cover them up a bit. I'm then going to use some cello tape. I really love this tape. I'm obsessed. It's everywhere now in my project. <laughs> At first I used uh, my homemade stuff, but this is even better because it's a bit more matte. I love it. It's amazing. Now I'm going to use a stamp and I'm going to see if I have a real one that I want to use.
I'm then going to add a snippet but before I do I'm going to roughen it up with my sanding disc and do some inking. And with the page almost being finished, the last thing I want to add is this tab. And that's mainly because I messed up the stamping that you see. So I wanted to cover it up and I decided to do that with a tab. And I've made the tab with some Tim Holtz craft cardstock. And then I'm going to put in some eyelets as well. It's now time to start the next page and on that same day we also took a boat ride to Lockram Island and these are the boat trip tickets from that so I want to incorporate those in my journal and make them uh, or turn them into journal cards and then I'm going to make another pocket with this uh, paper that I've done this before in the journal. So I'm going to do the same principle. I'm going to fold and roughen up the edges and tuck the pictures underneath. And that will create the opening of the pocket. So well, first we need to alter the tickets. So I'm going to uh, cut out two pieces of cardstock or scrapbook paper I should say to turn it into a journal card and I chose this one that has some ledger and I'm going to cut out two pieces I'm then going to put it through a mixture of vintage photo and ground espresso. And I'm then going to dry it with my heat gun. Unfortunately, somewhere while drying, I didn't pay enough attention, so it turned a bit black. And I was drying the back side, so I didn't really notice. And then I saw all these black spots, and I was like, oh no, that, that's not what I wanted. So I had to figure out something to fix it a bit. So this side, we are going to turn into a journal card, so that you don't see that huge black spot anymore. But I don't want to... Uh, cover both of the front sides because I also want to see the ticket right so we're going to do one of the back sides of the tickets uh, we, we will turn that into a journaling spot and one of the front sides if that makes sense so that way you will st still see the front and back of the actual tickets The scrapbook paper is also distressed with some vintage photo and ground espresso. I'm also going to add a tab on the side so that I can pull it out of the pocket easier. And this time I went for a whale tail tab. Thank you. 
I'm then going to use some of the leftover paper bag that said Dubrovnik, the one with the logo on it or the sigil. And I'm going to distress it a bit with some vintage photo from my dauber. I'm then going to look for some tiny snippets that I can add to the little cluster. I'm then going to add some rubbons. I then decide to die cut the words Lacram Island because that is the place that we were visiting and it wasn't really visible on the ticket. Uh, so I thought, okay, I'll just add it on there. Also, it will add a bit more decorations.
I'm then going to add some vintage photo and ground espresso with some water and I'm going to use my brush to create some, I don't know, death uh, behind the letters. Just a bit more texture, I guess. And I then want to do some stenciling and I'm going to use some grit paste. I don't have the normal textures paste, so I thought I'd use this instead. And I'm going to use it on this um, compass stencil. I'm going to let it dry to the side, just air dry a bit, and I'm going to continue the rest of the page. So I'm going to glue down some of these ruffles, or I don't know how to call it. <laughs> And I'm then going to work on the cluster for the pictures because I do want to attach them together, but I want something in between. So I'm going to look for my uh, through my paper uh, scraps and I found this piece and this was a Tim Holtz backdrop. I don't know which set it was from. I'm then going to roughen up all the edges. I'm also going to add a bit more of that white paper bag. I'm also going to add a bit of that suitcase sticker. I'm going to add a bit more of that paper scrap to tie it in with the other page as well. I like to repeat elements so that it's all cohesive. And once I'm happy with the entire cluster and I've sewn a bit, I'm going to glue it down. Thank you. 
Then going to uh, add a bit more of the cello tape. Then I'm going to look for a few labels and I'm going to use some Tracy Fox ones. I'm going to look uh, through my postage stamp book to, uh, book to see if I have some green ones that I want to use, but I end up not using any stamps. So I'm going to my tin with, I, I don't know how to say, it's not mess, it's not scraps, but it's leftover pieces that I've taken out, but was too lazy to put back away again, I guess. <laughs> so I just dump it in this tin. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm going to use one of the word strips that are in there that are travel related. I then want to play with the oxide sprays and I'm going to use Rusty Hinge and I'm going to add some water and then I'm going to use a brush but I've never done this before I want to put it on the texture paste the grid paste right so I want the ink to go sort of in between it but I have no idea how to do it so I just started experimenting i guess so i sprayed on top of it and then took a baby wipe to see if i could uh, tone it down a bit and then i wanted to try to see how it would react to inks so i'm going to add inks later but i'm first going to add a bit of uh, ground espresso i think it is i'm just going to water it down and let it seep through the uh, grid paste
So here is the alcohol ink. And as you can see, a whole bunch came out and I didn't really anticipate for that, but I started to uh, add some water and carefully apply ink. I'm not putting any pressure on the bottle. It's just coming out on its own but it really gave a rusty effect. So I honestly, I don't mind. It will turn out, uh, it will dry out a bit lighter, but I don't mind. But this was totally experimental. I had no idea what I'm doing once again, <laughs> but I did like the effect. I'm then going to turn it into a double pocket. So I'm going to fold over the rest of the page, do some inking on the sides and then glue it down. I'm then going to put the journal card in the first pocket and then I'm going to attach the other pocket to the white page or well, cream I guess and that's going to hold another journal card which I'm going to make now. Oh, I want to do some stamping first on the uh, whale tail tab. This is the postcard that we are also going to turn into a journal card and this is going to go in the pocket behind. I'm going to use some crackle paste. I've never used crackle paste before, but I do know that you need to leave it to dry overnight for the best results. What I also heard or understand is that the thicker you do it uh, or put paste the thicker it will make thicker cracks or bigger cracks and the thinner you do it the tinier the cracks will be so I'm taking that in account to do a sort of a mixture of it some parts bigger or thicker some parts thinner and I'm going to put it on randomly uh, on random spots I'm also not trying to do it perfectly um, even because I do like the uneven look. I'm going to glue shut the pocket and then I will have to wait until the next day for the postcard to dry. So this is the next day and then I decide to do um, some distressing with some oxides and I'm using vintage photo and ground espresso and some water and I'm going to put that through the cracks of the crackle. I did notice that some of the crackle was coming loose. I have no idea why that is. So I decided to go over it with some Mod Podge to seal it. And this is the paper that I'm going to use for the background to turn it into a journal card. I'm going to roughen up the edges like I always do with my scissors and some ink. And I'm also going to do some sanding.
I'm then going to glue it down. And because the front of the postcard is ripped, I'm also going to rip it on the same side, uh, on the back side, to make it cohesive. So I'm going to cut off that little triangle and mess it up a bit more and do some inking, because now it really looks as if it belongs. I'm going to do some stamping on the card and I'm also going to do some stamping on the paper from the pocket. now nearing the end of the video and i really hope you enjoyed this one i sure did and if you did enjoy it as well please don't forget to hit the like button and also leave a comment if you have not yet subscribed to my channel thank you for stopping by and please consider to subscribe it won't cost you a thing but it really helps my channel grow and uh, yeah i hope you will enjoy the rest of the video have a nice day wherever you are and I will see you in the next one. Bye!